Hey folks, I'm going to talk a little bit about the certified background check and the searches included. Certified background check is another detailed and valuable search for individuals that are concerned about the accuracy of their records and what errors may be revealed in a criminal background check for employment. Your information could be incorrect and have costly errors. The good thing is you can correct them. It takes a bit of time, but it can be done. This search is also great for independent contractors and handymen. These individuals go to a different place to work every day, which is usually someone else's home or property. Homeowners want to make sure that they can trust the person they are hiring and don't have the time or resources to run a background check before the individual starts working. Contracting companies have said that background checking their employees helped them get that desired account. It helped them. It will help you. The 123 Certified Background Check is conducted the same as an FCRA compliant background check. We use the same methods as if we were conducting a background check on a client's potential new hire. Our staff is well versed on the FCRA laws regarding the legalities of obtaining and use of information we send to you. Our legal team updates us continuously on the constant changing laws of the FCRA and its superseding local laws. We use state-of-the-art databases and old school techniques so you can be confident the completed background information is verified, up-to-date, and complies with local and national laws. If any database records come back incorrect, we help you remove those records from the database. As with all of our searches, the first information verified is a social security number, name of the individual, address history, and date of birth. When conducting a FCRA compliant background check, established identity is very important. Failure to establish identity can lead to a long list of non-relevant results, which may return information from someone else. You can be confident the verified results we return are for you. Remember, instant background checks do not verify information information and are not recommended. You have your choice of one of the next two searches, the multi-jurisdiction criminal search or the county-wide criminal record search. The multi-jurisdiction criminal search covers over 1,400 agencies and jurisdictions. However, your county may not be covered. Please check the coverage area before ordering. If your jurisdiction is not listed, we will conduct a county-wide criminal record search in counties your subject has lived in for the past seven years, which is the industry standard. If you are in need of a criminal record past the seven-year standard, we can obtain criminal history back 30 years and be on for a small search fee of $3 per year. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. You can specify you're the one these searches. Both searches will return sex offenders. The FCRA does not restrict the amount of time for criminal record use. Local laws do. There are local laws in California, Colorado, Kansas, Maryland, Massachusetts, Montana, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Mexico, New York, Texas, and the state of Washington that may restrict our furnishing and the use of criminal records past seven years. Here's a link on our site, folks. You can click that and uh, it'll give you all the information. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Folks, there are nationwide criminal records advertised on the net, but the truth of the matter is there isn't a nationwide criminal record database that covers all 50 states for public use. Too many companies advertise a nationwide criminal record search. However, they give no coverage area, but they do charge for what people consider a 50-state search that borders ethical business practices. Other services don't offer the alternative of conducting an on-site county criminal record search for no extra fee for jurisdictions not covered in criminal record databases. Why don't they? One can only guess. Just keep in mind, folks, there are legitimate legitimate background check companies, but if a company fails to give a coverage area, unlike we do, chances are you're only getting incomplete, non-verified information that could be found on the net for free. We offer complete transparency with our coverage, and you should expect nothing less when selecting a background check company. We then verify the record. If you use a multi-jurisdiction criminal search and a record is returned, since this is a database search, in order to be in compliance with the Fair Credit Reporting Act, we send a court researcher to where the record is housed and verify it for accuracy. We search nationwide for professional licenses. Each jurisdiction and every state require licenses to individuals who perform certain services. We search to see what licenses come back matching your information. Next is the civil suits, liens, and bankruptcies, which include judgments. This search is pretty much self-explanatory. We use the individual's information to see if there are any matching records for each of those actions. Here's the OF FAC prohibited party search, which basically sanctions individuals and entities who wish to threaten the security of the United States. We urge all clients to conduct a background check whenever they hire a rent. So we designed this search to help self-employed individuals who need to compete with bigger companies who background check their employees and individuals that are concerned about the accuracy of their records. Again, information does turn up incorrect. Searches with only a fraction of the non-verified information offered are priced at well over $100. This is without the alternative county criminal record search and the verification of database records. Okay, folks, uh, let's go order one. You sign in with the email you signed up with. Okay, here's your order bin, folks. I was doing other videos. I left the orders in here so you can see what it looks like when they start coming in. Uh, 
they stay there until they're completed and then deleted. Everything with an asterisk is required. Middle, optional, social security number, month of year of birth, street address, city, state, city. If the county you want searched is not in the multi-jurisdiction criminal record search, here is where you add it. Uh, select your state and then the county, put it here. If you leave a blank, we are going to run the nationwide regardless, so make sure this information gets there, folks. Uh, if you need any criminal records past the seven-year standard, say you need a 10-year search, uh, we give you the first seven, you would add three here, and then you just click the order button. Since you specified three years, you will put three years here. Here are the required forms that we will request from you. It's a disclosure authorization. These are for the 48 states, California, New York. Please select the appropriate one for your area. These must accompany your ID. We have to know that it's you ordering this. Uh, you can add to the cart. As you can see, uh, there was another search in there that I did before, so I'll just remove that one. This search reflects a $57 search uh, with the $9 extra for the $3 per year search, which is $66. You can add a customer code. Uh, we will be offering a Twitter sign-up. You sign up through Twitter and you get 20% off lifetime searches. Okay, folks, this is what it looks like. Here's a control number right here. That's what somebody would call in to this number with to verify the accuracy of this report. Here are the... Here are the searches we performed. Here are the results. Uh, again, your name will go here. This is the date that you were searched from. This is the number you called for any questions. And uh, that's it. Okay, folks, thanks for watching, and you have a great day.